Yes, yes, boys, because I'm back with another Darken Battle video. And in this video, we're going to be doing a guide for the hidden potential system. Because many people have actually asked me to do just a quick overview, just, you know, because some people are new to this game. So this video is mainly for the newer people of Darken. So welcome to Darken. And let's get straight into this video. Now the hidden potential system you will have to unlock. It'll be this one right here. It may be grayed out for many of you to get access to it. Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, this was done by me three years ago. But uh, in growth, I think there is a section. Yep, you need to complete this one and it will give you to the hidden potential. I do think so. I imagine, but with that, with that complete, you get access to the hidden potential stage. And the way this works is, you will get orbs from many things, login bonuses. You will get orbs from doing, you know, the daily stage in the growth section. And with these orbs, you basically make your unit stronger. Now, with free-to-play units more than pay-to-play units, you know, when you get the dupes, you will have these different locks that will be situated here. Uh, here, here, and here in four corners, and it will take off these special hidden potential routes. And as soon as you open up two, you will get access to the gold equipment. If you only get them to super attack level 10, you will get the silver, and everybody has access to the bronze equipment. Now, you may be saying, okay. I have a dupe in my unit, where do I go with my dupe? Every single time for every single unit, you will go bottom right first. This always first, always bottom right. Do not make any mistakes. Bottom right is the way to go. Next is always top left. Top left always next, top left always next. The next one can be a bit tricky. For more defensive units, you can go bottom left, third, to get access to the recovery boost. And if it's more of an offensive unit, you can always go top right to get some super attack boost. That is the only time for the third dupe where there is a little bit of preference. Now the main thing also is what do I do when I'm picking critical strike or additional because you do not want to get it mixed up and then have to, you know, farm some more free to play dupes or even worse, spend dragon stones to fix this up. Uh, let me give you a rule of thumb. So I'm just going to pick a random unit here. Let's talk about. Let's just talk about Super Saiyan 3. No, not him. Not him. Let's talk about. Let's make it a bit easier. Let's talk about LR Int Gohan. Now. This is how you really break down a unit at the beginning. So you check his super attack. Yeah, just damage, just damage and raising attack. That's okay. What you're looking for here is anything that is a helps you critical strike or if it helps you do super effective damage or effective damage. Because effective damage means it doesn't really matter what type you're hitting. You will do higher than normal damage. And of course, you know what critical strikes are. So if you ever see anything with critical strike or effective damage, what you want to do is mainly go additional. So as I can check this guy's passive, looking nice. Nothing to do with critical strikes or attacks effective. So this guy is pure crit. Same thing could be said. I have a look at my, for instance, who does have additional? Yeah. For instance, this guy right here, LR Int Godku, you know, he's looking really cool. So I check here, he raises attack and defense, does raise attack and defense, yeah, whatever. Now his passive right here looks quite large, I understand, but look at this. So for seven turns, he has a high chance of evading attacks, but also a high chance of performing a critical hit. So, oh, he can perform a crit. I don't need to give him crits if he can do crits. So for this guy, as you can see, I have gone for additional attack. That's how it works. Another idea would be this boy right here. This guy is a very nice show. 
is the AGL Gogeta and you will notice this on nearly every single Gogeta unit. If we go check here, you can see that he has attacks that are effective against all types and I talked about effective damage. So again, this guy is pure additional attack because you can see there I've given him plenty additional and it's even more for him because when he does transform, he has a guaranteed crit anyways would make you go additional either way. So that is the way to show that and of course just another base that a breakdown if I have a look at this guy for instance, Razor Defense on Super, nice stuff increasing attack and defense, nothing here says anything about critical strike chance and so I've gone maximum crit, that's how it works, that's how it works. Different units could catch you out though, so I have not got any dupes but if we check this guy right here, it's really rare you will see this but you check the pa you check the passive, okay so there's a chance of doing additional attack here, which is really nice. And you know he has an active skill, but for this unit it's in his actual super attack where it has a high chance of performing a critical hit. So for this guy if you get any dupes it would be additionals as well. So for example, hidden potential, I've got my boy Roshi here. And let's see what these boys doing. Does attack of defense 40%, of course I know what they do after easy aiming, so I don't mind doing it. So yeah, I would see these guys and be like you know what. They look like a guy who I would want to give maximum crits to because yeah they don't have anything that increases their attack, their defense. Now I will get to one controversial topic as well. I will get to one controversial topic which is actually going to be this node right here. So for some units, for some units right here that don't need any additionals because you're building full crit there is this plus three dodge that is very talked about in the community people are like as you may know the truth is always like uh, he always has three dodge i do not believe in the three dodge mechanic because yes it could save you once in a while but i'd rather get more damage than that like yes his three dodge has saved him before but like i've done nearly all the content the same way and I do not have the three dodge in there so it's it's pure preference like the, the, the three dodge would work but also not taking the plus three dodge also works and getting the plus three additional that additional could save your life also to get that more damage out but again it's entirely up to you what you want to do uh, when you've rainbowed a lot of units you kind of know what you have to do and uh, just quick overview just check what I have missed and that is 100% once you've 100% a unit you get that big glow which is really nice and you get that rainbow star and that is it that it was just a little quick guide so attacks effective or if there's critical strike chance built in you want to go additionals if there is nothing like that you want to go crit some people will say to you now, this is the one exception as well. There are units like my Int Mai for instance, which even though she does not have crit built in, I still have given her a few additionals. Now the main reason why is this unit has a high chance of stunning an enemy. So one, when you have a unit that doesn't do much damage at all, it's entirely preference because this is a utility unit and you know, it, you have to choose whether you want to go for either maximum like a damage efficiency or if you want to focus more on those critical strikes and for this instance i am focusing more on getting well not critical strikes but getting the stun off so i want this unit to stun more than anything so i have gone for the stun that's why for some really bad units it's only for bad units technically that you have the option Anything else you will go crits or full additionals depending on the types. But that is it my dudes. Uh, I think I have covered everything. Hopefully you have learnt a little bit from this if you are new to Dokken. This is because I'm bouncing out and again if you do like Dokken content. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to hit some 400 right here. So let's go let's go. This is Kizan and I'm going to be bouncing out in a bizzle.